Hi everyone, Fenris Models here, and today we're going to take a look at the F-117A Nighthawk from Trumpeter in 1-144th scale, and then we're going to go straight on into the build. Now, this is a small little kit. Um, I got this, I think, for like $3.50 or something at my local uh, hobby shop. Um, so it's going to be a small little fast build, but I thought it'd be a fun little video for us to do. I've not done a um, 117 before, so uh, this will be new for me as much as anything else. So let's take a look on the inside. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot that comes in this kit. Um, actually, the clear sprue is also here. It's just off camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's not a whole lot that comes in this kit. So let's start with the instructions. So as you can see, we have our layout of our three sprues and the decal call out along with the assembly just two st steps and close for painting so yeah it does come with a very small decal sheet very simple very easy um and this kind of turquoise we'll see how well they apply because again this is trumpeter um and trumpeter can sometimes be hit or miss um, but we'll see how it does. Then we got our first sprue, which has some pretty good details on it. Um, there's not a lot, but the ones it has are pretty good. So we have our top of the plane, our pilot, some bay doors and the vertical stabilizers. The second sprue at the bottom, the um, pylons for the moms, bombs, wheels, more bay doors, and then the plastic for the canopy. Now, I will say one thing about this it does not look like it actually has any demarcations for where the frame is, so I've got to figure that out. I don't know if I'm gonna freehand. Um, you know, do something freehand, just leave it clear, um, try to freehand some uh, uh, tape. I, I don't know yet, but we'll see what I do. So, anyway, how about we get on to the build? I started as one usually does by removing the parts from the sprue. Usually I would have the instructions out and place the parts physically on the sheet, but because there were so few parts, I didn't worry about it all that much on this one. Each part was then carefully cleaned of any nubs from the gate with a fresh hobby blade. It's important to always start out a build with a fresh hobby blade. A dull blade is more likely to cut you than a sharp one is due to the simple fact that more pressure is needed to cut the material. Once each part was cleaned, I glued it into place. You can see here that I'm opting for a plane in flight and therefore I'm closing all of the bay doors. One thing to note about this kit. If you intend to build it, there is next to no cockpit detail at all. After everything was attached to the bottom half, I did the same to the top. Air intake covers and the vertical, or I guess diagonal, tail stabilizers. Then I could attach both halves together. Now on to the pilot. Despite the relative lack of detail in the cockpit, I still wanted to do what I could with what was there and that included painting up the pilot even if it was going to be in 1 144th scale. The whole figure got a coat of Vallejo Gain Air Cold Gray 72.750. This was followed up by picking out the pilot's boots, helmet, and oxygen hose in model color 70.950 black. Once dry, I used my finest brush to apply a very light coat of Tamiya Piano Liner Accent Color Black to the whole figure. The whole plane then received a coat of the same model color black. Because everything was going to be black, I couldn't do my normal pre-shading method. Instead, I just gave the plane one whole solid coat. When that dried, in preparation for the decals, I coated the entire plane in Tester's Extreme Lacquer Wet Look Clear from a rattle can. Wet Look Clear is a super glossy varnish that I find works perfectly for making the process of applying decals even easier. Overall, the decals were alright. 
They weren't bad and could easily slide off the backing paper with only 30 seconds or so of soaking time and in cold water even. I don't know however how well they'd hold up to decal solutions. They felt relatively thin and I'd be worried the products would destroy them. So it's a good thing this kit didn't need any of that. Once the decals were in place, I wanted to do something to bring out the panel lines. Tamiya Panel Liner Accent Color is a great product for this, but the black and brown that I usually use wouldn't work well here. Luckily, I had some gray that I bought who knows when on a whim and just never used. Panel liner is easy to use. Because of the gloss varnish we applied earlier, the wash can easily flow in the panel lines via capillary action. All you need to do is touch the applicator brush onto a panel line. Of course, that did mean there were some pin marks that needed cleaning up. For this, I used a cotton bud damp, but not wet, with testers enamel thinner and wiped them away, being sure to follow the lines of airflow. This is because sometimes a little bit will be left behind as the thinner begins to evaporate in the cotton bud, leaving a light weathering effect that looks pretty good in my opinion. All that was needed now was to attach the clear parts, and we can call this one done. Overall, not bad for a $3 kit that only took me 3 hours to complete. Oh, did I not mention that? Yeah, this whole build took me 3 hours. That includes the drying times and even the time it took for me to film the unboxing portion of this video, so pretty quick. It's not a super advanced kit by any means, definitely a good one to introduce somebody to the hobby with or to use as a mojo build. Admittedly, had I built it with landing gear down and bay open, it may have taken me an additional 30 minutes, but still, quite a quick build. So how do you think it turned out? I'm quite happy with it, but leave a comment below with your own thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think I should have done differently, or if this kit is one that you yourself would want to pick up. Thank you to my gift set tier patron, Callie Bear. And thank you for watching! If you like my content, please remember to like and subscribe, and maybe take a look at my Patreon if you're so inclined. Uh, if you want to watch more, check out one of these videos here, and you know, in the meantime, stay safe and keep modeling!